Well, Leafs are winning going into the third. I was four for six today and missed my parlay. Here's my picks for tomorrow and I have another two team parlay. Before I get into my picks, uh, let's talk about today's uh, action. Uh, Dmitry Vandenberg beat uh, Christoph Ratowski pretty candidly. Not much to say in that game. But, uh, I wouldn't say the standard was very was really great. Uh, let me just kind of go to it 4-1, but it was 92 averages for both. Uh, but Dmitry Vandenberg crossed the line. Uh, again, he'll be very excited to see who he plays next. Uh, Nathan Aspinall, Josh Rock. Uh, they call it a classic. That was interesting to watch. Well, this fakes facts. Nathan Aspinall was 28% on his doubles. 50, he, uh, how much did he miss? He missed 37. Yeah, 37. What is he, Peter Wright? I'll oh, get into that in just a sec. Uh, 52, or 15 for 52. I mean, he beat him in legs. He lost the game. Was it a classic? It was fun to watch, but the averages were, what, 98, 96? Good, good game, I guess. Uh, if Aspinall hits any of those doubles, this game's over, and I hit my parlay. Uh, but Josh Rock continues on and uh, gets Johnny Clayton in the next round. I'm sure he'll be the favorite. Uh, maybe until he plays Michael Van Gerwen, he won't be the favorite, but fair enough. Uh, Johnny Clayton did a number on Brandon Dolan. Again, I, I wouldn't call this a, a great game to watch, although every set went 3-2. So it was a close game. I expected it to be a close game, but Johnny was, was much better in the uh, in the final. And actually, Brandon Dolan had a better average than, than him. You're talking 92, 93 averages. Uh, I thought the next game, Gabriel Clemens, Jim Williams was a good game. Just a really great game. Averages 98, 98. Fantastic. Uh, really impressed with the way Clemens came back. Uh, it's actually interesting. Jim Williams had the better average, but 65% uh, on your doubles is pretty damn good. Uh, but, you know, I, I, again, I thought Gabriel in that last set really, really showed up. Uh, big win for Gabriel Clemens. Uh, and he'll have a chance. He's going to get either Danny Knopper or Alan Suter. Maybe first, uh, I think it'd be the first German to get to the quarterfinal. He won't get past that, but fair enough. And then Gerwin Price just dummied Raymond Van Barnabelt. There was a chance for Raymond Van Barnabelt second set, and he just couldn't get it done. Uh, once it went to nothing, Gerwin Price just said, enough of this nonsense. We're going to get it done, and then the last game up, uh, Peter Wright, uh, Kim Hybrex. Obviously, Peter Wright's not on, not on form, although uh, 91.28 to 91.5. But let's look at the doubles. 17 missed doubles and in crucial times if the sets are 3-1 he's got the 115 he's got the double 18 to finish off the set he hits that he's on throw when it goes to three sets to me it goes 3-3 three, three. and who knows what what happens there but again changing darts the thing about changing darts his scoring was insane so if you take a look there was a total of what uh 12 15 16, there's 20 legs in the match, and Peter Wright had 21 140 pluses. 21! That's two, like, <laughs> that's, that's crazy. He's averaging one per. Uh, to give you an example, he was 24 uh, 140 pluses versus, and that includes the 180s, to uh, a hybrid 17. He was the better, like just. But the problem with it, when you change your darts, it's it's annoying. It's crazy to be a fan and try to bet on this. That's why I never bet on a Peter Wright game. I'll bet against them. But when you change your darts, it's not going to affect your scoring. It's going to affect the random twenty sixes you throw in there and twenty eights and whatever else he threw in there. But his doubles were atrocious, just atrocious. Can't win with doubles like this. Just like Aspinall, you can't win when you're when you're shooting thirty percent on your doubles. This is you win a lot. You win a lot in publics with thirty percent double range, but not on the professional. So uh, defending champ is gone. I guess we'll have uh, a new uh, a new champion next year, or this, sorry, this year. What am I saying? Next year. Uh, but let's get into the games uh, for uh, today. Uh, the first one up. Uh, let me just make sure I get this right. I'm not sure the, the order that they're going. That's uh, Ryan Searle against Jose D'Souza. I'm a big fan of Ryan Searle in this one. I like Ryan Searle to win this one 4-1. I think he's going to do a number. I didn't like the way that Jose played. 
Uh, Ryan Searle's going to hit some big numbers. I think it sets up a really good game. Price against Searle, I think it'll be a doozy. Good, I think Price will win it, but I think it'll be a doozy of a game. Next one up, Danny Noppert, Alan Suter. I don't know. I, I've been tossing back and forth on this one. Uh, I just think Danny Noppert's just a little bit too good for Alan Suter, and I like Danny Noppert to win this one 4-3. Uh, next one up, Gary Anderson, Chris Doby. Could be a doozy, could be a snoozy. It's the world championships. <laughs> and, and I remember Gary Anderson Doby had a cracker about two or three years ago, four, four or five years ago. I don't forget what it was. But who hasn't Gary Anderson had a cracker with? But usually it's during the world championships. Uh, and I'm going to say Gary Anderson will win this one. I don't know what I'm doing here. But uh, Gary Anderson will win this one 4-3. And I think it'll be a cracker. Uh, next one up, Joe Cohen, D uh, D uh, Damon Hedda. Damon has got to get Joe Cullen at some point, doesn't he? Uh, you would have told me at the beginning of this tournament that Damon Hedda was going to be, you know, going into this with any chance. I would have said no, but I love the way he played against Adrian Lewis. Uh, Joe Cullen played really good against Ricky Evans. Damon has just too good of a player to not get any results in TV. He's just too good. Uh, I'm going to take Damon Hedda to win this one in a bit of an upset. Uh, I guess you could say, but let's get him to take it 4-2. Next one up, uh, MVG, Mensah Silovich. Nothing to say. MVG, 4 nothing. This will be a de de destroy job. And then Michael Smith against Martin Schindler. I'm going to give Martin Schindler a set, but that's it. I think two destroy jobs to end off the day. Michael Smith to win 4-1. Uh, my parlay. I'm going to take a parlay here. Uh, the parlay is going to be... Uh, Ryan Searle over Jose D'Souza. Now, he is the favorite, but he's getting pretty short odds for being a favorite. And Damon Head is a good, to me, um, outsider to win this one. Uh, he's definitely not the favorite. Uh, so maybe Joe Connell relax because he's the favorite on this one. But I like Damon Head just because he's got to win on TV. He's just got to. And that pays three times my money. Uh, so those are my picks for tomorrow. I uh, hope everyone enjoys the darts. Hopefully the Leafs continue to hold on to a 4-3 lead. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Cheers.